Is that sausage and gravy you've got no, there? No, it's sausage and bovril. Paul, if I float over, will you pop a sausage on top of my belly? I'd love you to do that for me. Oh, go on, I'll pedal over, right? Here come the belly. <laughs> Thank you. That was the <laughs> scariest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Got some flies. Yeah. Oh. What about oh. this? What about this? No, I would say you need something with a bead head to get you down. What about that one? No. Yeah, this one there? No. Paul, oh, what about that no. one? No. Oh, Paul. <laughs> yeah, I'll choose you. Thank I'll you. Choose. So the nice thing about fly fishing is, is you don't really need much gear. You. Bit of line, scissors. It's quite age appropriate, really, isn't it? Do you dress age appropriately, would you say? I'll get a bit lazy, just jeans and trainers are bad. That's not very age appropriate. Have you discovered the elasticated waistband? No, not yet, not quite. You know, you persevere with belts and that. Yeah. As you get older and your paunch develops, yeah. you either have to put the belt below your paunch. I know, it's tricky. Or call. above it, yeah. which is ridiculous, strapping yourself up. But the elasticated pant, you can choose wherever you right. wish to put it. Yeah. yeah. The elasticated waste man is a happy man. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. This is the River X, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, we're in Devon. Paul, I'd have to say, if paradise... Yeah. Yeah. ..was it, half as nice... ..nice yeah. as the places that you bring me to... Yeah. ..who needs paradise? Yeah. I'd rather have you. <sighs> this is a stunner. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's so quiet, you can actually hear a, a mouse putting this little paw into its handbag. Yeah, rustling around. Rustling around, around yeah. getting its lippy. Yeah. What are we fishing for, then? Right, we're going to start by fishing for grills. The summer salmon, Bob, you know what a grills is? What is a grills? You call a them grills. grizzle, don't you? Grizzle grills yeah. is a baby salmon. It's not really a baby salmon. It's a one sea winter salmon, so they've been at sea for one winter. And yeah. back they come, full of vim and vigour, Bob. Well, are our chances decent? You never know, there'll be some up, yeah, definitely. But what we can do, if there's no sign of any grouse, we can have a little go for trout, the graining. Well, you'd be up for that, wouldn't you? In fact, that's what that rod is that you've got in your hands there. Oh, so you're actually, you're, you're <laughs> actually thinking to yourself, I won't be able to handle a oh, salmon rod. Putting Bob in the championship already, yeah. Teach me how to fish. Come on. Here we go. Bob! You in? Yep, it's only a little one. <laughs> Is it a little beauty, though? Yes. <laughs> He's a cracker. Put that down. It's a little salmon pile, I think, by these markings here. Wow. But it's got red spots, so it could be a trout. It's very difficult to tell when they're this size, you know? Yeah. It's beautiful. Well done, Paul. Here we go. Sort of, I know it's also oh, a little chain. There he goes. <laughs> uh, I haven't said for a long while, life affirming, Bob, those little trout, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Well done. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was challenging, Bob. I feel like my triceps are really <laughs> compromised. 37 degrees oh, or whatever it's it is. wonderful. And I'm going oh, to no, it's glorious, cook you it? a nice burger. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Plant burger, veggie burger. Okay. Heart health. The only thing that I feel I should say hmm. is that last night I left the plant burgers in my car in the heat, and they're in a vacuum packed like that, yeah? Car when heat, I, meat When heat. I retrieved them, they were vacuum packed like that. So you've semi-cooked them, or I you've allowed know. cultures of bacteria to flourish and grow within them. Yeah, but I will hit them with heat. OK. No All virus right. can survive over 60 degrees. Says so, who? So. Van Halen. <laughs> He's your go-to uh, <laughs> microbiologist. Virologist, <isn't> he? <laughs> Paul, you're neutral. There's your burger, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it's nice to cool your feet off. Oh, I love this spot, Bob. I love it too. Look how, how shady it is now, Bob. Do you like the new light bulbs, which are a bit dim? No, I think they're crap. It's really unpleasant, it's isn't so it? so annoying, isn't it? We were promised they were a replacement, yeah? But they don't do the same job. They don't no. give a light. And the one distinguishing feature of a light bulb is that it should produce bleeding light. Exactly, Michael. Do you want to make any comment on the vegetable burger? It's all right. It's lacking a bit of juice, isn't it? 
Tastes like a veggie burger, doesn't it? I suppose it does, yeah. Mm. Hello there, madam. Hello. What a lovely shop. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm looking for something a little bit heart healthy. What would you recommend? Okay. The squash and spinach roll is quite nice. Do you do anything vegan? We have, yeah. The roasted vegetable pasty is vegan. Do you think I'm fat? No, not. No, be honest. No, no, don't. Because I've promised myself I'm going to... You've got to be good. I've yeah. got to be good. It has got pastry. It's got a puff pastry, but dairy-free, so you'll be... Also, oh, there's one. no animal fat. No in animal it. fat at all in that. No. Then that's easy. I'll take two, two of, of them. Two of those. Please, okay. thank you. Do you have a pork pie? I don't at the moment. Sorry. More again tomorrow. Do you have a calippo? We do have calippo. Oh really? In the freezer behind you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Who's batting? You are. Am I? Yeah. It's a bit small, this bat. My back might go. Sure, though. <laughs> it's only a game, Bob. It's a sport, all right? Did think you were making that? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the Caesar boss, isn't it? Yeah. If you could take that sailboat to mm -hmm. anywhere to start a new life, where yeah. would you tell the skipper to take it to? Well, I, the, the place that came into my mind, just completely out of the blue, there was Tangier. And I don't know why, but that sounds like a romantic yeah. place to go, doesn't it? Where would you go? Hartlepool. <laughs> <laughs> You coming back over, Paul? I've got something for you. Is it worth it? Sit down. OK. <sighs> Hello, sir. My <laughs> name's Mystic Wolf. I'm here to offer you a pebble reading. Oh, right, OK. And now I'm... I can look into your future. Mm, do I have to pay for this? Simply choose three pebbles. Do I have to pay? You will have to pay. <laughs> Select your pebbles. Three pebbles. Three pebbles that you think mean something to you. OK, Wilf. You might hear a rumbling, a bit like a washing machine. <clears throat> <laughs> the first pebble is your life pebble. Oh, right. Yeah, and that's mm. going right into the drink. Just like you, son. I'll give you 18 months. The smaller pebble... It's your libido. And as you can see, <laughs> it's fading very fast. So much so that I think it can go yeah, in the it sea. Did. It did, yeah, OK. The third pebble you selected is very interesting mm. because what it's dictating that you should do is that you should give a close friend over £6,000. <laughs> it's very specific. I wonder who this friend can be. I'm seeing... Uh, do you know Bob? He's... Very handsome, if a bit plump. Does that ring any bells? 